Environmental Protection Department employs this recently introduced unmanned sampling submarine as a means to investigate cases of water pollution via an innovative way. Our task force develops smart users, utilizing the capabilities to investigate complex and potentially dangerous channels. Take for example, the investigation of a water pollution case where using traditional methods Investigators spend three to four weeks, but still could not find clues to the source of water pollution. With the traditional investigation methods, we were used to first open the heavy manhole for inspection, then send foremen into the channels for investigation, which involve a lot of risk in itself. Also, the manhole involved may be located on the highway and it was impractical to close the road to open the manhole. Therefore, we tried to use our submarine to investigate different branches of the channel and were able to clearly observe the situation within the channel through the additional periscope lens we installed. As it was unaffected by the polluted water in the channel, we were able to quickly locate the branches with the suspended pollution which greatly narrowed the search scope, allowing us to quickly find the source of the polluted water and rectify the pollution issue. The EPD used the innovative unmanned sampling submarine for pollution investigation and environmental monitoring purpose. We regularly test the water quality of the Sigmund River, and now we can use the unmanned sampling submarine to dive into the Sigmund River in order to understand the underwater biodiversity and check the effectiveness of the environmental protection efforts. Over the years, various government departments have performed their duties to actively improve the environment of the Sigmund River through the implementation of various pollution control measures and interdepartmental collaboration. The efforts of the EPD and Defense Department in improving the water quality of the Sigmund River can be clearly reflected by the clear water and diverse marine life as seen in the recent underwater images. From Hong Kong's rivers to the sea, the submarine also helps the department with monitoring the environmental remediation work concerning the three runway system project. The environmental permit of the free one-way system project requires the relocation of the corals in the affected waters. In the past, we could only rely on the photos in the report submitted by the permit holder to visualize the status. Now, we can use unmanned sampling submarine to effectively monitor the underwater environment. It also allows our colleagues to inspect the effectiveness of our environmental protection work in a much safer and faster manner to support Hong Kong to develop into a smart city. We have established an innovation and technology task force. We try to promote the development and application of various technology, helping us to tackle various difficult cases, in particular related to law enforcement and also in monitoring the environment. 